Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at branches in Git, how to use them, create them, delete them, and, and what actually are branches. And we're gonna delve into the internals here using this visual tool I've got here where we can see a representation of, of what's inside Git. So we can really get an understanding of what is going on with, with a branch. Uh, before we do though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. All right, so I'm gonna get to this kind of scenario here. I'll do it from scratch again. Um, basically, you're just gonna add a couple of files, a couple of commits, and then and then start playing around with the branches and, and see what, what they do for us. Um, so if I just initialize an empty repo here at the moment, I'll get a new screen down here with just an empty head. So we've got nothing in this repo at the moment. So let's add a file to it. Um, if I add a file um, test.txt and then add that to our repo, we should see that pop in here. So we've got one file here. Um, and then I'll create a commit and we'll just call that initial. And that should give us a little start here. So, so by default, when you create your first commit, you get a default branch. It'll either be called master or main. We've just got a master here at the moment. Um, and a branch is simply a pointer. They are very lightweight branches. It's not, when you create a branch, you could potentially think it's going to create a, uh, a copy of all the files in your repo like another branch of them and, and they're separately distinct but we'll show in here you know in terms of what is created there's going to be no new files created no new trees i'm actually going to turn the trees off in here at the moment because we don't really need to be seeing them um, um, so yeah, like I was saying, it's very lightweight. You can create as many branches as you want. They are just pointers, and they are they are pointers to commits, and and the commit is a snapshot of everything in your repo. So you can have branches pointing to different commits. Um, now, generally, head will point to a branch, and head determines what view of your repository we've got at the moment. Um, currently, so currently we're on, I'm going to move it over here a bit. Currently, head is pointing to master. Master, our master branch points to this initial commit, which points to a single file test. And, and that's the one we just created. So we've just got that file showing up in our folder at the moment. Um, all right, I'm going to create another, um, well, let's create a couple more branches now. As I say, they're, they're really lightweight, so you can create loads of them. So let's do... Um, Git branch and we'll say feature and that so that just when you create a branch it will point to the existing um, commit that your current branch points to so it's just going to point to this initial commit here and we can create uh, more of these so we could do git branch test um, and again that's just going to point to this initial commit here so you have as many branches as you want um, all right now one of the interesting things interesting things about branches is when you create when you make a change to your repo so say i added another file now and then you create a commit which is a snapshot of the repo with that new file in the branch will automatically update to that new commit so it always keeps um, up to date with the tip um, of of that set of commits um, so Let's create um, let's create a new file then. So let's have um, test two into test two, and we'll do a git add, which will add the file into our repo down here. Okay, so there's the file added. You notice again when we created these commits, these branches, sorry, feature and test, it didn't create any new files. You see a file pop up here when I do git add, but creating a branch doesn't create anything new. Uh, in terms of the repo, no copies of files or commits or anything. It's just one file and it's got a hash pointer in it pointing to a commit. Um, all right, so let's let's do a git commit now. And we'll say added file two, sorry, test two. Like so. And here we should see our master branch update automatically to the new commit. So it was pointing here to the initial commit um, and then we did git commit up above here we did this git commit and and so now is pointing to that new commit that we created and that means because head is pointing to that master 
our view of the repo now reflects this path here which has got two files it's got test and test two so when i look in my folder as you'd expect because i just created them we can see we've got these two files test and test two um, now you can you can move the head pointer to different branches so when you when you do the command git checkout and a branch name all all it's doing is moving this head pointer to a different uh, branch so currently it's pointing here um, so yeah currently it's here but if we did a git checkout feature it would now end up pointing over here uh, so let's let's have a look at that let's give that a try let's do a git checkout and we'll say feature so all this is going to do is change where the head pointer is and you can see it's updated it to point to feature over here uh, just going to make this a little bit smaller and we'll try and get it down here right so by doing a checkout, all that we've done is change the head pointer, which determines what view of the repository we've got. And it points now to feature. Um, so we're coming down this path and come to this commit. And this commit has only got one um, file associated with it down here, uh, which is test.txt. So in our repo now, if I do a directory now, we've only got test.txt so it's kind of it's, it's deleted that file from our from our working area um, to give us the view that we wanted from the feature branch so each of these branches can give you a different view into the repository and you can check them out which means head will move to that branch and those are the files that you will see in there um, one other thing then in terms of branches is we you know we can we can delete these pretty pretty safely um you're not going to delete any data as such when you delete a branch so say i wanted to get rid of branch test just to clean up i can do a git branch minus d test and we can literally just take that out and because it's just a lightweight pointer no data is going to be lost from your repo it's not going to delete any commits it's not going to delete any files doesn't matter what the branch is pointing to they're not going to get deleted the only thing to be a little bit wary of there is if um, that branch is the only thing pointing to a commit then there's no way for git to get to that commit anymore so if something is becomes unreachable because no branches point to it then that will get deleted cleaned up by git in the garbage collector uh, so just got to be a little bit careful there in terms of uh, deleting branches um, okay so yeah there you go i'm um, just a little overview of branches there hope that was interesting give me a thumbs up if you liked it ah thumbs down if not thanks for watching though catch you next time